gentlemen do it. Ladies do it. Even people in their eighties do it. All listen to wonderful double deal I L. Even Lady Bird and Lyndon do it. Yeah, they listen. And they. On Capitol Hill, I always listen to W I O. Like the laws of the land. Whatever happened to Lyndon Johnson? Have you noticed? He's just sort of poof. Have you noticed? It? Well, they fixed him, didn't they? Well, oh, he's the one who plays with Carol. I see. with a 515 edition WIL award-winning Action Central News presented by Roosevelt Federal Savings and Loan. Downtown, 9th and Locust, north side, 2132 East Grand, Crestwood, number 20 Crestwood Plaza, and River Roads, 104 River Road Center, St. Louis. Tonight's weather forecast includes a hazardous driving advisory, and we'll have the weather prediction momentarily. Relative to the Weather Bureau information, the Automobile Club of St. Louis urges motorists to drive home or to town this evening with their headlights on, not your parking lights. Missouri law requires use of headlights in the type of weather plaguing the St. Louis area. It's important that the other drivers see your automobile if we're to prevent costly accidents, injuries, and possible death. St. Louis traffic tied up on Vanavetter, an automobile accident, two cars involved. Motorists reportedly en route accordingly, and if not, drive with extreme caution when approaching the scene. That's Vandeventer, two blocks south of Easton. Another automobile accidents are coming in at such a rapid rate. Over WIL police monitors, it's impossible to report on each one. Take it easy is the best advice. Keep your headlights on, not your parking lights. St. Louis, 35 members of the oil, chemical, and atomic workers local, 7644, go back on the job. Allegedly ending strike at Mobile Oil. Fred W. Puffell, the plant superintendent, quoted as saying he thinks additional workers will come in soon. The workers apparently went back without a union contract. The strike, which began last August, was over contract. Wages were not supposedly an issue. A union official said some of the workers crossed picket lines. Other workers then followed suit. East St. Louis, gun duel between man and his girlfriend, takes the life of Kerry Spears, the man's mother. 36-year-old Willie Spears and his 23-year-old girlfriend, Ari Mosley, were shooting it out with a shotgun and pistol, allegedly to settle an argument on the Mosley girl's front lawn. 223 exchange in East St. Louis when a wild shot hit the Spears woman in the head, snuffing out her life. Police found spent shotgun and pistol cartridges on the front lawn of the Mosley's home. Both suspects now in police custody. St. Louis, February 11th, the date of the trial of 16-year-old Ellis Coney Jr. and 17-year-old Leon Grimm for the rape, robbery, and savage murder of Mrs. Betty Foster. The brutal crime occurred on December 5th in a dark parking lot near where Mrs. Foster was employed. Coney and Graham pleaded innocent to all charges, although they allegedly confessed the crimes to police when apprehended. St. Louis, two 16-year-old boys, John Noble and Dennis Winslow, go before Judge David McMullen Monday morning for determination whether they'll be tried as adults or juveniles in the assault death of 64-year-old Mrs. Marie Welby near the emergency entrance to Lutheran Hospital. The victim was dead on arrival. City Hospital number one, some two miles away. The crime occurred during Christmas month, only last year. Would you like to buy or build a new home? If so, be sure to discuss the financing with Roosevelt Federal Savings and Loan. Ask about their popular fitted home loan, which wraps up all phases of home financing in one package for your special convenience. Roosevelt Federal Savings specializes in the modern long-term open-end mortgage, which permits repayment of your Roosevelt Federal Savings fitted home loan in moderate monthly installments planned to fit your budget. It's a sound, convenient way to turn a down payment into a debt-free home. Ask about it soon. The fitted home loan tailored to your specific requirements at Roosevelt Federal Savings and Loan. Downtown, 
Northside, Crestwood, and River Road. Three of Roosevelt Federal Savings Offices are open tonight. Northside till 7, Crestwood, and River Roads until 9. New York City, U.N. Secretary General Thunt told Belgium's Foreign Office U.N. forces in the Congo went beyond their instructions in capturing Genoville, Washington. President Kennedy led the list of notables at funeral services today for the late Oklahoma Senator Robert Kerr. Washington, sources report Arthur Dean, chief disarmament negotiator for the U.S. in Geneva, submitted his resignation. The news presented by Roosevelt Federal Savings and Loan, downtown 9th and Locust, north side 2132 East Grand, Crestwood number 20 Crestwood Plaza, and River Roads 104 River Road Center. Bill Addison reporting, proud to be in Action Central, always first when seconds count. Action Central, wonderful W-I-L. Weather conditions. The WIL revised weather with the WIL weather ball flashing green. Occasional freezing rain tonight, changing to snow late tonight or early tomorrow, producing glazing conditions. That'll make driving hazardous. Snow continuing tomorrow, light accumulation ending tomorrow night. Low tonight, 28. High tomorrow, 32. Winds light easterly. Relative humidity, 96%. Foggy. Sea level pressure falling from 30 and 20 hundredths. I have 29 degrees and Ron Lundy with music. the top ten this week on W.I.L. Ricky Nelson, it's up to you. How you doing? Huh? Wonderful W.I.L. You're listening to Wonderful W.I.L. Radio, AM and FM in St. Louis, Missouri, home of award-winning Action Central News. Action, Action, Action Central News at 45. Bill Addison with a 5.45 edition WIL award-winning Action Central News presented by the Bank of St. Louis, Washington, to Lucas at 9th, serving the greater St. Louis area for 50 years. St. Louis, traffic accidents hitting St. Louis area like a plague. Traffic still tied up from an accident about 25 minutes ago on Vandeventer, two blocks south of Easton. Other accidents happening throughout the city. Drive with extreme, we repeat, extreme caution. St. Louis, strike at Mobile Oil allegedly ended. From all appearances, the strike is over. 35 members of Oil, Chemical, and Atomic Workers Local 7644 went back to work today. Plant Superintendent Fred W. Pofal optimistically states he thinks additional workers will come in soon. The strike action was born August last year. A union official says original strike called over contract. Wages were not an issue. He says some union members went back to work when other members crossed picket line. The workers apparently went back without a union contract. East St. Louis, 62-year-old Kerry Spears is dead. The victim of crossfire during blazing shotgun and pistol duel involving her 36-year-old son Willie and his girlfriend Ari Mosley. She's 23. It happened on the lawn of the Mosley girls' home. 223 Exchange in East St. Louis, where police found spent shotgun shells and bullet casings. Both suspects arrested, now in jail. St. Louis, pair of teenage boys accused in December 5th, rape, robbery, and fatal bludgeoning of Mrs. Betty Foster, 30-year-old telephone operator, go to trial 11th of February. They're Ellis Coney Jr., 16, and 17-year-old Leon Grimm. They've pleaded not guilty to all charges, although they allegedly confessed the crimes to police at the time of their arrest. Alton, State Representative Ralph Smith of Alton, said he will introduce a bill in the state legislature to halt Illinois Public Aid Commission from furnishing contraceptives to welfare recipients. The Republican representative also says he will introduce a bill prohibiting marriage under 18 years old in Illinois. The 73rd session of the Illinois legislature starts on Wednesday. Canton, authorities are seeking mysterious caller whose telephone messages yesterday emptied Farmington Community High School in Canton, Illinois, and led authorities to a spray bomb. A chalkboard spray bomb was found heating on a radiator in the gymnasium after the unidentified caller warned school authorities of a bomb in two calls. 
250 students left the building. A search led to the liquid spray bomb. Police said that although the spray bomb, which is used to clean blackboards, would not have caused much damage, it would have seriously burned students had it exploded from the heat. St. Louis, St. Louis Revenue Collector, Louis G. Vera, says tax collections in St. Louis are up $6,860,000. Vera said today his office collected $43,442,000 in taxes through December 31st. He says $37,356,000 was collected in 1961. St. Louis, owner of baseball Cardinals, August A. Bush Jr., says the Cardinals will not be able to play in proposed downtown sports stadium until 1966. Original plans call for completion of stadium during the St. Louis Bicentennial 1964 and 65. Bush says, and we quote, to be frank, we'll be lucky if we're playing in the new stadium before 1966. Don't miss the pleasure and personal comfort that can be yours if you have the money you need at all times with you to buy special bargains or take advantage of sudden sales. The way to do this is to establish a check loan account right now at the Bank of St. Louis. Check loan, the easiest, simplest way to know that you'll have the cash you need at any given moment. Just apply for your lifetime credit in an amount that you feel you can afford, and you'll never have to miss an opportunity again. You'll carry a book of personalized check loan checks with you at all times, and you can write those checks for any purpose you wish, regardless of where in the world you happen to be. Call Garfield 11850 any time of the day or night, any day of the year, and get all the information you need about the check loan plan from the bank that served the greater St. Louis area for 50 years. The Bank of St. Louis, Washington to Lucas at 9th. Oklahoma City, President Kennedy attended the funeral of Democratic U.S. Senator Robert Kerr in Oklahoma City, then headed back to Palm Beach. Hollywood, 700 persons attended memorial rites for actor and producer Dick Powell. Elizabethville, Katanga President Sean Bay reported ready to talk with the United Nations or fight to the end. Washington, Ambassador Arthur Dean announced he's resigning as chief U.S. disarmament negotiator. Moscow... Soviet news agency TASS reports Premier Khrushchev will head the Russian delegation to the Congress of the East German Communist Party. New York City, the stock market advanced for the second straight day in a session of heavy trading. The news presented by the Bank of St. Louis, Washington to Lucas tonight. Bank of St. Louis is a member of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Bill Addison reporting, proud to be in Action Central, always first when seconds come. Central, wonderful WIL weather conditions. The WIL divine weather with the WIL weather ball, flashing green, occasional freezing rain tonight, changing to snow late tonight or early tomorrow, producing glazing conditions that'll make driving hazardous. Snow continuing tomorrow, light accumulation ending tomorrow night. Low tonight, 28, high tomorrow around 32. Wonderful WIL. Look for the spear and get chewing enjoyment. Look for the spear, get Wrigley's. Fresh, strong, lively, long-lasting too. You'll say Wrigley's is great to chew. Look for the spear and get chewing enjoyment. With the biggest little treat in all the land. Get the package with the spear and you'll know enjoyment's here. Be sure it's Wrigley's gone. Friends, when you're at the store, get the biggest little treat in all the land, Wrigley Spearmint Gum. To be sure of getting the original Wrigley Spearmint, look for the spear. Anyone can use the word spearmint, but only Wrigley's can use the spear on the package. Some people call it a spear, some call it an arrow. Whichever you call it, it's the Wrigley trademark, your assurance of real chewing enjoyment. Get the package, get the spear, and you'll know enjoyment here. Be sure it's Wrigley's gum. <laughs> 